Okay. Well, Chevy, now see, I just look at you and I'm starting to giggle and laugh. I haven't done anything. <laughs> no. What is it about you that we just look at you and we start to laugh? I don't know whether I expect you to fall off the platform or, you know. I could, but uh, <laughs> then we'd be finished with the interview, break my back. I do think that your director and producer were just the bravest people in the world to put you in this kind of movie, you know, your image of the original klutz. Weren't they, you know, scared to death you'd topple off the cliff or something here at the Grand Canyon? Well, we darn near did. I mean, in uh, vacation, uh, I'm the father of a family that uh, pretty well knows that the dad could fall at any time off anything. There's a, quite a, there's quite a car crash, actually, in the film, as you've seen there. Uh, in the Monument Valley. This is the Grand Canyon. For those of you who don't know, it's right behind us. We <laughs> shot here. Did you ever in your life, either as a kid or later on, ever make a cross-country auto trip? Yes. Uh, actually, quite a few times alone, uh, uh, just to see the country and to work during the summer. And uh, it was a lonely jaunt. It's a long trip. It's a big country. Did and, you have uh, any unusual experiences? Car breaking down? You car know? broke down. The first time I did it, I was 20 years old, and uh, I uh, bought a, a, I think it was a 57 DeSoto with power steering that broke down in the Sierra Nevadas coming out of Reno, going into uh, Northern California. Uh, so it was like driving a submarine or something down the mountain there. And uh, that was quite unusual. I came to California and uh, picked fruit. It was the second picking plums. Uh, it was a I remember falling off a ladder, actually, with a family of migrant <laughs> workers laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> and did some construction work. And then I was beaten up by Hell's Angels and had to go back home. So that was an unusual summer vacation for me. What did you do to the Hell's Angels that they beat you up? I tried to get one of them, that, that was for sure. But uh, I didn't do anything. I just looked like a kid from the East. My hair was a crew cut, and I was a hard worker. And uh, they were just looking to get an Eastern kid and beat him up. Did you try to talk them out of it, or what? There do? wasn't much talking. Uh, I was, at, <laughs> I was in a. Uh, I, as I remember, I was at the uh, uh, town center or something for a dance on a Saturday night with another young kid I had met uh, who was working with construction in construction with me. And a uh, guy came up to me and uh, pushed me very hard. And I remember saying, he "said Excuse me." I said, "Sure, you just don't push so hard," which I should never have said. He was about 27 and had been a prize fighter and a gang leader and. Uh, handed me one under the chin that took out a couple of teeth, my nose and jaw, and then said, uh, why don't we step outside? And of course, I couldn't hardly walk, so I said, sure. I thought maybe we'd go outside and have lunch. I didn't know. <laughs> and uh, about five of them really beat up on us. Uh, we were all thrown into jail. It was an awful experience. But uh, once I got my hands on him, he was in trouble. But uh, <laughs> it was pretty hard with another one holding me. It was a heck of a summer. Uh, my best vacation was actually shooting this, which was last summer. It was wonderful. If you could have any vacation, free vacation, Chevy, and any place, what would you choose? Oh, boy, I don't know. I haven't had one in a while. I, uh, for one thing, I think that it really is fun, enjoyable, educational, and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful country, I mean, to drive across the country. Of course, the kids would have wanted to get on the plane and just get there. But I think that's a great vacation. Uh, I think my favorite summer was when I ran a camp up in Ontario, Canada, and uh, took care of hundreds of kids and uh, did a lot of canoeing. And uh, basically, I love the country uh, as opposed to urban life. I can't think of, of one that I'm dreaming of having, uh, just being with my family. And uh, having a vacation is already a good thing. <laughs> Jerry, as long as the car doesn't break down. Uh, right. Recently, I talked to the Smothers Brothers, old, old friends of yours, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, used to okay. write for them. And we were discussing John Belushi, and Tommy Smothers said that uh, it wasn't that anybody did anything to John. He was talking about the, the woman who's going to, they're trying to extradite her, to bring her back here, to have an investigation. He said nobody did anything to John. John did it to himself. Was Tommy there? Tommy told me this. Was he at the uh, scene of the crime? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. Uh, what's the question? 
Well, the question is... Do, do I believe that? Do you, uh, do you agree with Tommy's You assessment? know, that's a hard question because I hadn't seen John in some time. I can, I can say that uh, I've known John for a long time, and I'd never known John ever to touch himself with a needle, ever. Uh, I'd just never known him to go over the line in that way. And in fact, as far as I've heard on the news, part of the prosecution's argument will be that. I know nothing of this woman. I had heard Judy say that something to the effect of that, you know, in a sense it was, John was ready for that kind of an experience. It's just a tragedy, that's all. But, uh, and it's a mistake. And it's the kind that can kill people. And it's, uh, it's very sad. But, you know, I think I knew John a lot better than Tommy did. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's not a careless statement on Tommy's part. I just think that uh, anybody who plays around in that way is, is is being very careless and self-destructive already. He may have been ready for a mistake, but not one that cost his life. You think the woman should be brought back and that we I should continue well, the investigation? I, I certainly wouldn't say anything uh, that uh, had a bearing on, on her future or, or the case itself, because I don't know enough about it. I would certainly suggest that nobody else try it. Chevy, do you think that people are learning from what happened to John? I mean, I'm just thinking about people in show business who've experimented and goodness knows, you know, hundreds and thousands have. Do you think they've learned anything? I don't know. Uh, I live a relatively staid domestic existence uh, outside of uh, Los Angeles and I don't uh, see many of these people in show business. Uh, whether they do or don't uh, isn't that important, whether they learn from John. It, there have been so many of these deaths, young deaths of really fine artists ever since Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin and on and on, Lenny Bruce. Uh, you would hope that people would learn every time, but uh, people, by and large, want to f experiment for themselves and find out for themselves. I mean, all you can do if you're in a position to say anything about something like that is uh, is don't. You know, I would hope by now that if there's anything to be learned by kids, that the glorification of using drugs, certainly in that manner. Um, is, uh, is long gone and past us. I hear you. I hear you. I hope so, too. Chevy, again, good to see you here at the Grand Canyon. I hope Canyon. to see the movie, incidentally. Uh, I've seen more it. More important to me than the... Uh, I, I have seen it, yes, indeed, okay. and lots of laughs in good. National Lampoon's vacation. So uh, don't fall off the cliff, you know. Take it easy. I'm headed for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good to see you, Chevy. Thank me you. Too. Thank you. Good interview. Thank okay. you. Okay. Now on the re-asks... Um, yeah, uh, do I? And uh, I'll give you some reactions and then some questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because I think the shadow will give you a, sense, yeah. a different okay. sense of where I am. All right. We'll start over then. Still rolling. Okay. Okay. Let's just start again. <laughs> and sound for questions, please. Okay. Did you ever at any time make a cross country auto trip? What did you do or say to the Hells Angel? <laughs> if you could have a free vacation any place, Chevy, what would you take? Actually, London, to be honest, I really don't. All right. Okay. Um, now, do you agree with Tommy Smothers' statement? What do you think about that statement from Tommy Smothers? Okay. Um, do you think this woman should be brought back to this country and there should be a further investigation? Did I answer these particular questions? 
Okay. Um, all right, just one more. Your director and producer have to be the most trusting people in the world to bring you out to the Grand Canyon and hope that you don't fall off the cliff. Okay. Yeah, I did. Um, Chevy. Yeah, no, actually, what I'm objecting to is the, uh, the question, do you agree with Tommy's mother's statement? I don't think he's oh, all right, let me rephrase it to what do you think about it then? What do you yeah, think about it? Like okay, you know, uh, all right, good point. Yeah, good point. Okay, let me re-ask it that way then. Okay. So, Chevy, what do you think about Tommy Smothers' statement? Yeah, good point, Chevy. Thank you.